Okay, hey all. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how you could possibly uh, dual boot Ubuntu and uh, Arch Linux. So I have a picture that I took before. Okay, comp is a lot of fun today. There it is. I'll zoom in. Make sure that's set. And this is the uh, partition scheme. So it's only this is in VirtualBox. So it's only one hard drive, which is SDA. And I have SDA1, as you can see here, as the root. And then I have a separate home partition and swap. What we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called Gparted, which is you, down, you can download. It's free download from uh, SourceForge. And we're going to resize this home directory uh, to make room for Arch Linux. So with that, uh, let's get started. Uh, make sure you have Gparted uh, downloaded. And ready to go, you can uh, set up your uh, virtual virtual machine for that. So uh, let's get started on that. As you can see here, um, I have uh, VirtualBox here, um, Ubuntu 64-bit, powered off. So we'll go to Settings and Storage. It says Empty under Controller colon IDE. We go over to the disk icon, and we'll just choose. And it's in my Downloads, and it's called Gparted. Actually, it's called something else, but I just renamed it. So we we'll just hit Open. Press OK and uh, press Enter. Start and G part it should come up. And defaults are usually fine, so just press Enter. If you're in uh, U.S. English, basically uh, you can just press Enter for everything. And the magical G part it is now running. I'll zoom in. As you can see, it's similar to what I uh, showed you for the Ubuntu. Ubuntu install. So we're going to take extension 4. We're going to resize it. Now it's, uh, it's, uh, it's device SDA 6. Uh, what do we want here? Um, Ubuntu takes a little more room. So let's maybe 35 ish area and hit resize move so it'll give you a preview so okay well that was pretty close so half and half um so you hit apply now this could take a while especially if you do this on your main drive that it has it's probably much much larger so click apply and uh i'm not sure how long this will take oh, well that's it okay i don't have to pause it so close now we have unallocated disk space and uh we're gonna have to create a uh, new file system. It's going to be extension 4 and it's going to be uh, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3. And just add. And then unallocated is going to be our home partition. Again, extension 4. And whatever, we'll just leave that as it is. And add. And we should be good to go. 1 megabyte unallocated, that's good. So this will be, once we're done, we'll just click apply. And wait for that to do its thing. Close. So this is where uh, Arch Linux is going to be installed on slash DEV SDA 7 and DEV SDA 8. Okay, so we'll uh, close down Gparted and load up our Arch Linux um, ISO. So with the Ubuntu uh, virtual machine turned off, we'll go back to settings again, and it's usual storage, and empty, and this time we'll choose Arch Linux ISO. Uh, this is a custom uh, modified one because the uh, wireless tools uh, aren't quite working in the May 2013 release, so it's not that much difference, but you'll see a couple of things. So. Just press enter. It just should start up. And we should see the Arch Linux boot screen. And I use 64 bit, so that's the first option. If you use 32 bit, you use the second I686. So, first option, I press enter. Now, the partitions and the file system has already been made. Okay, this is the TMX GTA. Um, 
arch build. Uh, there's a message there, but I don't know what it is. Just press enter. <clears throat> so all we have to do is mount those two um, partitions. And that was uh, device SDA7 and device SDA8, or DEV. So bound slash DEV slash SDA7 to slash MNT. MKDIR slash MNT slash home. Now we're going to mount that home directory slash DEV slash STA8 slash MNT slash HOME. And you can use the, uh, we, you can share the swap file. Uh, so we have, just have to tell it it's there. So we just do a swap on and it's on the DEV SDA5. Yes. Okay. So now it has Arch Linux knows what uh, partitions to use. Um, so we will download the uh, packages and then we'll continue on mounting the, uh, the not mounting, uh, installing Grub and uh, configuring Grub after I do that because I've already done a couple of videos already on installing Arch Linux. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've. Uh, 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 CH rooted into uh, the Arch installation, and now we're going to uh, pull down uh, two programs or two files. Uh, one is uh, oh, I don't need that uh, Pac-Man. So we need um, grub dash BIOS and OS Prober. That's going to hopefully find our Ubuntu installation. Now we'll try this OS dash prober. It might kick up a fuss on some things, yeah. But it did find it. Uh, device SDA1. And it looks like it's frozen, but the cursor's here. So we'll just type in clear. So we'll install grub. So grub, yeah, it's backwards. Dash install, no. S install. Uh, slash DEV SDA. Remember, no ones or twos after. Good. And let's generate our grub configuration file. So it's uh, grub dash mkconfig config dash, I mean, yeah, dash o slash boots grub slash grub slash grub dot cfg and and it found it now you can see there Ubuntu has been found so we'll just exit out of here and we'll just unmount the devices uh, slash mnt slash home and you mount mnt Okay, I'm going to shut this down. So shut down, capital P, small uh, H, and now. And I'm going to unmount the uh, image. And I'll be back, uh, hopefully, at the uh, boot screen with both options. So here we are at the uh, boot screen. It's changed, of course, uh, to the Arch Linux Grub boot screen. But you can see here that we have Arch Linux, or it's a fallback, and Ubuntu, and it's a advanced option. So let's uh, boot Arch Linux, make sure that installed fine, and we'll log in. Okay, great. So let's just is issue reboot, and we're back to where we started. And it, if you notice here, now it has two <coughs> volumes, uh, one 10 gigabyte, that's Arch Linux root and 127 gigabyte which is Arch Linux home and the beauty of this is the operating systems are separate in the way of uh, not conflicting with profiles because the home directories are on different partitions so if I press home it's not gonna <coughs> interfere now if I go here there's nothing on there because that's home the home partition and here is uh, Arch Linux 
and we can unmount that as well. So that's it. Uh, it's easier to do in VirtualBox than on the live install, or you know your hard drive install, especially if you have Windows in the situation, and if you only have one hard drive, it's a little more difficult, and you also have to worry about video drivers in probably both cases, especially Arch Linux if you're using right now, as of now, an AMD slash ATI video card. But that's basically the principle. Okay, so any questions or comments, uh, feel free to add them. And thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.